This is a review of wireless bridge, AI wireless. It's enterprise level indoor and outdoor. It is using DC and POE. POE means power over ethernet. You don't have to use separate uh, power cable. Everything is going on ethernet cable. And IP65, weatherproof, full channel and it is working all regions and fast networking this is the box and let's go ahead and see what we have first of all we're gonna see on wireless bridge this is the user manual and then we're gonna have three wireless bridges and three power injector 24 volt and network cable metal hoop mounting screw set and user manual let's go ahead and look at that one by one and we have the mounting tool let's look at this we also have the adapter power power and then three of them second and third one we need one wi-fi bridge let's go ahead and open this area when you open it you can see reset button right there and then that's poe and 100 meters and digital tube led display right there and then another poe and LAN and this is 12 volt dc adapter you can see the uh, level of vlan wireless and some indicators second bridge and the third one ethernet cable second and the third one wi-fi bridges first of all we're gonna get the internet connection basically master bridge is gonna give internet connection to the slave then you have two options either you can use ethernet directly to your computer or you can get a router or extender then you can use it as a Wi-Fi. First of all, this is the first one. That's the master one. I already plugged it in over there. This is our modem and the router together. We're getting the internet connection with the yellow one. And that's the LAN. And we're gonna get the POE. That means power over ethernet. It's getting the internet connection and the power together. When you look at the back, this is A, that means master bridge, and 6. This is giving internet connection to both of them. We're getting the internet connection from the master, and we already plugged it in. Later on, same thing, this is B, and this is also B. We're getting the internet connection from the master. And then if you want to use as a Wi-Fi router, you need the extender or the router. This is from AX1800. It's a smart router. And this is from UV. Basically, this is the Wi-Fi extender. What we need to do is we're gonna get the internet connection from here to the router. Then we're getting the Wi-Fi connection from here. The second slave bridge, same thing. We're getting the LAN here to there. And then power over ethernet. Then it's coming over here. Then this is gonna give the signals to your laptop.
Let's we'll look at the laptop. It's coming from here. If you have fiber optic cable, you can use it also. If you don't want to use Wi-Fi, we have other option, Ethernet cable. And it's going to come over here. Let me go ahead and use Ethernet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna disable the Wi-Fi and then I will use Ethernet cable. Basically we're just gonna plug it in there and you can see we're getting the internet connection right now. Let's go ahead and open it and I'm feeling like see internet connection. The internet connection is awesome. Here is the master bridge. Basically, we're getting the internet connection from my modem with the yellow cable to here, right there, LAN, and then play with the blue ethernet cable. And we're getting energy at the same time, internet connection. Then, since this is master bridge, it's giving the internet connection for the front yard and the backyard. We're gonna check the cameras if they are working well or not. Let's go ahead and see. Alrighty, I put one slave bridge in my garage. When you look at it, that's power over ethernet. It's coming from here to there. This slave bridge is getting the internet connection from the master bridge then the slave bridge is giving internet connection here to here right there this is the wi-fi extender same thing this is the internet connection from the other injector and then we're getting power over ethernet power at the same time internet connection that means we have right now wi-fi for the front yard I'm going to use this second slave bridge for my backyard. Then I have cameras in the backyard, but from the router, internet connection is not strong. That's why I'm going to use this. And again, this is the POA injector. We're getting the power over ethernet with the blue wire ethernet cable. At the same time, internet connection from the master bridge. And then I'm using this Wi-Fi router. Then getting the internet connection from LAN. Then it's coming over here, right there. If you want to use wireless, that's all right. But if you want to use directly LAN ethernet cable, you're just gonna connect it here. And we're getting the internet connection from here. When you look at it, it's right there. And let's go ahead and check. Let's go ahead and check something. I'm feeling lucky. And see, it's a great internet connection. We can check the speed, we can check the speed, speed test, and I'm on the speed, see, my internet connection is 50 megabits, but as you see, it's almost 90 megabits. Look at that. I put the slave bridge right over here. When we look at the signal, it's awesome. And then the extender is getting the internet connection from there, from my extender. Let's look at the Wi-Fi. It's 
front two cameras are also 100%. I'm gonna go outside and show you the cameras where they're at. One camera is right there. It's right there. And the second camera is right there. Even though I'm walking away from the extender, it is also 100% right there. And the camera is 100%. Look at how fast it is. Yep, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next video.